Howdy! My name is Danya Kraster. Ah, uh, shut it. Besides all the useful videos, I want to do some useless crap for fun. Throw some shit at the fan, so to speak. Today, it's high voltage barbecue. Why the hell did I bring the microwave? Well, we don't need it yet. We have two steaks, one raw, the other one's also raw but marinated. And some devices we're gonna torture all this crap with. Today we're gonna torture this meat with different voltage, starting with 12 volts and up to the craziest shit the high voltage battery can produce. We have two pieces of meat, one salty, one not. So let's start with turning on the laboratory auto transformer. Actually, it's a big resistor which can up the voltage from 0 to 3 fucking hundred volts. I hope this tiny wire will stand 300 volts and nothing's gonna blow the fuck up today. The input is here on these two contacts. Don't forget the screw nut. Why the fuck am I always saying the screw nut? It's a plain washer. Soldiered contacts! Who made this up? I don't know. You can just wrap it around. This laboratory transformer can produce 3 kilowatts. Is this wire strong enough? Well, we won't torture it for long. I hope it won't burn out. So, this crap is connected and working. We have to connect two more wires. I started my, well, let's say, a career as a low current assembler of SCS networks like alarms and so on, various video surveillance cameras, internet cables, etc. Invaluable experience, I say. Invaluable experience in stripping miles of wires. Welcome to the test bench, you piece of meat. Let's start with this battery charger. Six amperes. 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 I will connect this big boy's plug to the transformer output. Transformer's input is connected to the wire. What happens next? Um... I wanna warn you, do not try to repeat it because it's fucking dangerous. You can really get killed. Zero volts. Uh-uh. Starting from 220 volts, the Soviet piece of shit turns them into 12 volts DC. We'll have something like that on the input when it gets into a straight wire and then comes out with such voltage. Let's set the voltmeter to 20. I don't want to abuse a cooler one I usually use in my videos because nobody knows what's gonna happen today. Attach them to the battery charger output. Now we have zero volts on the transformer, the voltmeter shows some kind of little shits. Let's up to 30 volts AC and C. For some reason it shows 50 volts. Well, okay, 2.26 volts and 6 life-giving amperes. Let's see what are they gonna do with this piece of meat. We will poke them in just like that. The voltage is slightly dropping, which means that the current passes through our meat. But still nothing. Let's try to increase it to a hundred. Na 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 na. 100 volts. The voltmeter shows 5 volts. What can 5 volts do? Can't do dick. We increase it to 220 volts. Standard outlet voltage here. As you can see, they are already sparkling. Not bad. What is going to happen with the meat? Yep. Nothing. And with marinated piece? Yep. Ah, nothing. Another 70 volts. Why not? Let's up it. Oh yeah, I hear the battery charges transformer humming. Back to the meat, still not a fucking thing. And with the marinated... Nah, nothing. Let's turn off the transformer and stop raping our charger. Throw off the wires, well, it looks safe. It is clear that 12 volts is not enough. Maybe not enough amperage. 6 amps? What the fuck is that? Moving on to heavy artillery. Here is a rewound high voltage microwave transformer. After we rewound it, it began to produce one and a half volts and a shitload of amperes. How much? I don't have a clue. I don't remember. Roughly like a welder, maybe a bit less. Now we will check where the problem is. In amperage or voltage. We connect the output from laboratory transformer to a microwave transformer. We have two contacts. So we are connecting the laboratory transformer. Now we have it on zero. 
We measure the voltage at the output of the transformer, zero volts. Now we are gradually starting to increase the AC, which in theory comes out from the outlet. We have zero volts coming from the outlet. Let's raise it. How much? Almost 50. Let's measure here. Zero? Shit! Seems like I soldiered it the wrong way. After a small operation, our transformer came to life. I had to rip open the primary wrapper. It looks like a fucking copper, but Chinese are very sneaky people. It's painted varnish. Let's fucking go! 70! 80 volts! So we poke it? How much is it? 0.4 volts. Now let's see what happens if we increase it to 220, which is normal for our outlets. How much is it now? One and a half volts. One and a half volts, lads! Same as in this battery. So what happens to the meat? Nothing happens to the meat. And with marinated, too. But if we connect these two wires to metal... <laughs> metal gets fucked up straight away. It becomes red hot. So what's the trick? There are a lot of amperes here, like in a welder. Therefore, we have high current here, electric current. Imagine that a locomotive is going through these wires. You'll get killed not by volts, but by amperes. But with small voltage, amperes can't break through your puny body tissue. I wouldn't be me if I didn't go up to 300 volts right now. <laughs> Metal is burning! How do you like them shitty apples now? Lots of amps! Let's get down to the most interesting part. Why the fuck did I bring the microwave oven? Now I need to take out of it the same part we used, a transformer, but not a converted one. We need one with high fucking voltage. Many volts, high voltage, life-threatening. I don't want to look for my Allen wrench. Yeah, secure. Fuck. Gently opened up the microwave, and what do we have here? A bunch of some indistinct wires, controls, a magnetron that fries our food, and a transformer that we actually need. Got the detail needed? Here, as you can see, there are primary and secondary windings. And the secondary is a little, just a little fuck bit different than the one that we have over there, just a bit different. So now we need to connect this transformer in a special way, which I will have to look up in my own Russian video, Jacob's Ladder, so I could get higher voltage. Oh yeah! Before moving on to this bastard and very high voltage, we should have some fun with usual voltage from, from the outlet. Let's get silly! Here we have direct voltage from the laboratory transformer straight to our meaty meats. Well, to secure everything I should screw in two electrodes. These are ordinary self-tapping screws, but in our case they're electrodes. 50 volts, nothing. Well, fuck it, I better put on my glasses. 130 volts, something is getting fried. The meat begins to boil. 220 volts, check it out, step by step. Oh, groovy. Let's fuck it with 300 right away. Okay, starts to roast a little. Fuck it. Oh, the smell is fucking amazing. It smells like a burned fish gallbladder. Let's see what'll happen with the marinated steak. Since it contains a large amount of salt, much more than here, it has smaller resistance. So according to Ohm's law, more electricity can pass through. On this one, the effect started to appear at approximately 200 volts. What is going to happen here? 100 volts also started to bake a bit. Wow, we have arcs at 100 volts already, 200 volts. Well, let's go 300. A salty marinated piece of meat began to fry at smaller voltage. Let's finish it. We have nothing to lose. I feel that the cooking mode is not quite right for juicy barbecue. 
The voltage is too high. Well, let's raise it again, bitch. So after some preparations, everything is ready for high voltage frying. And I want to warn you now, do not mess with this shit if you do not know what you're doing. If you have no education, brains, hands, fuck. In any case, do not even go near this crap, it's fucking deadly. Now you'll understand what I'm talking about. But considering I'm a dumbass, we gonna have some crazy fun now. Let's connect the transformer. Oh, the light's blinking. This is already interesting, 100 volts. What happens at the output? Whoa, we see a small arc. At 100 volts, it is about half inch long. That means it gives us about 10 kilovolts. 10 fucking thousand volts. Let's grab it into the meat. Unmarinate it, go first. Ooh. 100 volts. And the effect is already strong, like from 200. Now bad. What will happen to the salty one? The cooking mode is wrong. We might burn it a little. 220 volt. The power of Jacob's ladder. Fuck me sideways. This is some serious shit. Let's fry the meat. Oh crap, the screws just drown in it. Marinated, not marinated. Well, marinated one is a bit wilder. This is proper. I like that. So it's time for 300, so it's time for 300 volts. What's gonna happen right now? Well, who knows? <laughs> Ah, oh, crap! Both pieces get fried the same way. The voltage is too high, gentlemen. Fuck it, I quit. I believe that both steaks are ready. And people have been asking me for a long time to prefer one cool trick. It's called Lichtenberg figure. We have already started to play with high voltage, then why don't we do this? As you can see, now everything is on, but nothing happens. The board is dielectric. We need to pour a glass of water and stir some salt and soda in it. This solution will increase the conductivity of the wooden surface. We begin to coat this piece of wood. Okay, coated it with superconductive solution. We turn it to 220 and stick in two electrodes. Nah. The solution dries out too quickly. Let's wait until the wood is soaked. The piece of wood seems to be soaked properly. Let's try again. Up the vaults! Nah, anyway, the liquid boils away from the surface instantly. We should wait a bit. So, after a few more minutes, I hope everything will work out now. If it doesn't, we'll move on to another piece of wood. Whoa, yeah! What the hell, what is that, is that it? Okay, it's too dense. Let's try something else. Plain shitty plywood. Well, not so shitty, even good birch plywood. Well, let's go. What the hell? Fuck me, come on, already, piece of... Oh, I won't give up. I won't give up. More slime. That's not what I wanted, come on. That looks better. This is a special serving. 
Holy crap of God. The Transformer is on fire. Fuck it. Turn everything the fuck off. Well, gentlemen, I give you Lichtenberg steak. I wouldn't be myself if I hadn't tasted this recipe. Delicious. High voltage cooking is something for a true gourmet. Well, I wish you to follow the safety rules, not our fucked up habits. But if you like our videos, consider yourself liking this one and subscribing to the channel. In addition to useful videos, sometimes we trash hard. Daniel Craster was here, thanks for watching.